Right, let's go after Rottingham and fail miserably because I haven't got any insults. I completely missed it. So, it's you again. Yes. I've come for my map. Hmm. This may prove amusing. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Um. If you're planning on retiring, have money set aside. Nope. Oh. See what I mean? I'm missing loads of them. My attacks have left entire islands depopulated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. You're a disgrace to your species. You're so undignified. At least mine can be identified. You have the sex appeal of a Sharpe. Uh -huh. Then be a good dog. Sit. Stay. Damn it. No. Your looks would make pigs nauseated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Oh man, I your hate this. Your lips look like they belong on the catch of the day. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. <laughs> I give you a choice. You can be gutted or decapitated. With you around, I'd prefer to be fumigated. I can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Oh man, I actually did it. I cannot believe it. I have been defeated in battle. So give me that map, take your ship and skedaddle. You win, you win, you'll get your map back. You were doomed from the start, you cleft. <coughs> all right, all right, I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. Merci, I beg you, no more insults, please. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. <laughs> we got the map back. Now we can sail to Blood Island. Hey, I didn't think it'd be that easy. <laughs> That's not how I wave for it, but whatever. Whew. I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But 
We've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It was a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Oi, right. It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. I think you just do that. Yep, I know how to cook. You'd best believe in that. That there hand lotion be for the rough, dry skin that can often accompany ship repair. Why can I not have it? Uh, Haggis? Aye. Hi, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't you be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. Tis but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye. And if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. <laughs> wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. <laughs> and that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole blooming bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. I'll let you get back to work. Right. <clears throat> the tar. Uh. Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. Uh, it's that accursed cursed ring. That ring is really stuck on her finger. Uh, right, there's nothing I can do here if I remember, so... One sec. Sorry about that. Um. <coughs> Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in Griswold Goodsu presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean, starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera, nightly at seven. Looks like it was quite a show. I don't have anything. I don't think I can do anything with this yet. Nope. Don't bother that. Just make the pain stop, please. I can't pick up that entire wheel of cheese. Uh. I don't want to pin that. I need something to chip off a chunk with. I don't have anything like that. Uh... I really don't want to know what's in there. It's a big whoop souvenir magnet. Right, uh... It's labeled Good Soup Family Records. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. Nah. Dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! <laughs> ah! Please keep it down. No screaming. Oh my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush, and you would be? I am Madame Zima, 
mistress of the ancient arts, a precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever, tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. <laughs> I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines. Giving you the most excruciating <coughs> death imaginable. So, are you gonna tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good lord, woman. Stop that screaming. <laughs> what is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about. Right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go. Look, a three headed monkey. Ah! Then the prophecies were true. Where? I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. <laughs> Need several for remember. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Do you know anything about the lost ring of Oops. Blood Island? I sense tremendous sorrow in connection with that ring and a great part missing. A beautiful diamond. Where's the diamond? I see a dark cave filled with evil men and a place of death. A dark island in the form of a giant skull. Hit me. Death. How many of those cards do you have anyway? <laughs> How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you, and no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well, demon! Demon! Uh, what? Madam Zima, I... Be gone. You will bring death to all who surround you. No good can come of this. I've got five death cards. That can't be good. Uh, I don't know. 